Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a sandwich of recent history, specifically one that was posted by my man Kyle, aka The Vulgar Chef, a few uh, weeks ago. Um, he made this kind of gravy cheese and made a grilled cheese out of that gravy cheese with french fries and it sounds tasty and I want to try it, so let's give it a go. All right, so the first thing I have to make is a gravy cheese and the gravy cheese then has to set up. Uh, I'm going to let it set up overnight, so it's going to be uh, two parts of this video. Don't worry, you'll see it all in one video. Uh, so we'll let's make the cheese and then tomorrow let's make the sandwich. Add cold water slowly to the gravy mixture. Now we bring this to a boil and then let it down to a simmer and let it go for a minute. Then we take it off heat. I saw on the counter he had parsley, so I'm going to add some parsley and some fresh ground black pepper. Next up, time to melt the American cheese. Now with the cheese melted, we just sort of uh, incorporate the gravy a little bit at a time. All right, now we pour this into a plastic jar. Let it set. I'm going to let it set overnight and hopefully it'll uh, harden up into gravy cheese. And it looked like he used red potatoes to create the mashed potatoes, so let's get those boiling. All right, they're ready to be smashed, but I don't know if he added anything to them. I'm going to add a little cream, salt, and pepper. And then mash away. First thing we have to do is mayonnaise some bread. I'm using sourdough. Then we set them in a pan, mayonnaise the other side. Then we flip them to cook on the other side, and uh, we're supposed to add uh, slices of the gravy cheese. Mine didn't exactly set up, so I'm going to go ahead and smear this stuff on there and keep going. Now we add our mashed potatoes and french fries. Okay, let's give this gravy cheese grilled cheese sandwich by the vulgar chef a go. It is messy primarily because I screwed up the cheese, but the flavor is delicious. <laughs> Got the crispness of the french fries, although that's fading fast, <clears throat> with the mashed potatoes and that cheese that does taste like that brown gravy from the packet. <laughs> this is so not good for you. I do want to try and place it up a couple ways. On one, I'm going to use some malt vinegar. On the other, HP sauce. Okay, let's give this gravy cheese grilled cheese sandwich plus up with a little malt vinegar a go. Classic flavor that goes on fries, potatoes, but it's working well with the gravy and the cheese and the bread. Mm. Okay, let's give this gravy cheese grilled cheese sandwich plus up with HP sauce a go. Also goes great with it. Tangy, sweet, playing off the richness. Mm. I just had an idea for a third plus up. Yes, that's right, a third plus up. I'm gonna add a fried egg and HP sauce. Okay, let's give this gravy cheese grilled cheese sandwich plus up with a fried egg and some HP sauce a go. That is ridiculously good. I gotta say, the original gravy cheese grilled cheese sandwich, that was pretty nuts, uh, but it was pretty tasty. And you could do a version of it that doesn't use packet gravy, you could just use regular gravy, you could use Gouda cheese, you could do that sort of thing, but Flavor-wise, it, ah, it was good. It's poutine-esque. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give the original, I think I'm going to give the original an eight and a half, plus up with the malt vinegar, nine, plus up with the HP sauce, nine, plus up with the egg and the HP sauce. That's about a nine and a half. That is fantastic. I'm going to slowly whittle away at that, break out the defibrillator just in case, and uh, yeah, I don't think I need to eat for a few days. <laughs> Well, big shout out to the vulgar chef for making something ridiculous and delicious at the same time. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>